Knowing CPR could be the difference between life and death, and we are seeing a big spike in interest of learning it after several celebrities uh, endured cardiac arrest recently. KSN's Alexis Padilla breaks down how you can learn along with other tips to keep your heart healthy. Alexis. Jeff, it's important to remember that this can happen at any age for a number of reasons. Cardiac arrest can be sudden, so it's crucial for you to take time to prepare yourself to jump in and help. Even youth who are playing sports or, you know, just in the classroom. It's just something that you really cannot predict. But a quick reaction can be the difference between life and death. Performing good quality CPR can potentially save a life and give us enough time for the ambulance to arrive. That gives people a chance at continuing that blood flow through their heart and to their brain. According to the American Heart Association, about 90% of people who suffer a cardiac arrest outside of a hospital die. Since Damar Hamlin's incident, they have seen a spike in interest. Just days following that, we saw a 200% increase in our CPR page. So if you see someone collapse, what do you do? First, call 911, then check for a pulse. From there, press hard and fast in the center of the chest to the beat of staying alive, or for our younger audiences, uh, Baby Shark, any song that's 100 beats per minute, and you'll continue that until help arrives. While they can be sudden, there are signs to look out for. Shortness of breath, fatigue, chest pain, feeling palpitations, and those are the typical signs that there might be something cardiac going on or there might be a cardiac condition. Cardiologists say heart conditions can be hereditary, so be sure to check with your doctor if you have any. You can find a link to CPR resources under this story on KSN.com. Here for you, Alexis Padilla, KSN News 3. All right, Alexis, thank you. Let's take a closer look now at CPR. More than 350,000 cardiac arrests take place away from a hospital in the U.S. every year. When someone does suffer a cardiac arrest, their survival depends on immediately receiving CPR from someone nearby. If they get it, their chance of surviving can double, even triple. However, bystanders only perform CPR about 46% of the time. 